Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Kinema, and we're here on Fortnite. Uh, it's kind of a newish game. Um, I really didn't know too much about this game, getting into it. Uh, and kind of a friend gave me a key, I've been playing it. And I've actually highly enjoyed it, enough to where I ended up buying the <laughs> limited edition, collector's edition, whatever you want to call it. Uh, which came with two other free keys, which I gave those away as gifts. So, um, yeah, uh, I like the game a lot. <laughs> it hints me spending a lot of money on it. Um, it is going free to play, so I know some people kind of torn about that. Some people don't like the UI. I don't know if that's you time. play with the controller or what, um, but I've been enjoying it. So the way the main concept of this game is... I'm in my little storm shield area. Uh, I don't really have anything to do at the moment here. I'm here, I've already passed, I'm up on stage three. And I was gonna show a little bit about the game. Maybe do some base modifications too. Um, break it. I, if you know the answer to this, let me know. Uh, I hate breaking this, but I do wanna edit my base. This is how I set it up first. I don't like it. It has you do like a pre-build area and then it kind of walks you through. Um, unfortunately, I wish I could get traps back, you know, and I don't, I have not found a way to do that. Uh, so I do have to kind of sit here and break. Now one trick I do know, and I, I know I'm talking, I'm not fo focusing on it, is if you hit these little spots, you do get kind of a bonus. You see how I'm going about. Um, but you want to do that for materials. Like I'm breaking my base, but you can come over here if you need wood. You can you can do this on trees. Of course it broke. See, I got more than that. You can harvest stuff. Like, that's plants. You can search. Sometimes you can get... Yeah, what I got? Some herbs. And, yeah, I'm all filled up on wood. Uh, but you can get like herbs and you can get bullets from those too. So these bigger things, yeah, of course you want to try to hit those as much as possible. That way it breaks it pretty quick. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is go through and break a lot of this. There's some things up here. I don't think I've actually explored up here. So you can kind of see there's different areas. And this is my, what I get? That's a bolts. I got duct tape. Can never go wrong with duct tape. Um, ooh. Ammo crate. Ammo. So, uh, this is kind of cool. Most of the, the, like the, a lot of the stuff is destroyable, <laughs> uh, which makes the game even better. Um, so this is, this is your home base. This is your little area. Apparently, I'm probably going to open up something here at one time. Uh, as you play through the game, you start out kind of defending a little bunker over here. Um, it looks like it's quite a bit of levels. I don't know what all is going to be unlocked. There's some other stuff. Oh, that's probably the the trees going through my storm shield. Uh, storm shield actually is keeping out the undead, which is very cool. Uh, I last battle I did have some issues because I didn't have the back Literally all the way. Cannot up against the vault. I don't think we can go in here at the moment. Can we? No. No. You start out, you go in there, you do some things, um, and then you have the shield you pretty much have to protect. And that's the main kind of concept of the single player aspect of this game. Uh, the building is pretty straightforward. Uh, mouse and keyboard. I don't know about control, but mouse and keyboard, you get Q. You can build walls. Floors, ceilings, stairs, and then little pyramid things. Uh, you can right click on here to change between metal, wood, stone, and then it kind of just builds it. So what I want to do is clear out this whole base. It's going to take me some little bit of time. Um, maybe not as much if I hit those. I'm going to lose all these traps I have, which is absolutely horrible. Uh, it sucks because I got that. Um, so after you find stuff, you know, in between battles, you do get open up 
weapon crates, you know, a lot of games have used crates and stuff, and you can find schematics in the world, I'm pretty sure I have found some, um, but you get the crates pretty, pretty easily too, uh, just different things, yeah, herbs again, twine, uh, you can need it to kind of make your own ammo and everything too, so you want to always searching, always search, uh, so let me go ahead, this video is mainly going to be about your main little base i'm gonna make another one i'm doing some co-op stuff uh go out and do some other missions uh but let me uh let me destroy my base <laughs> and we'll be right back doing some rebuilding okay well i i got quite a bit cleared up not everything um i may worry about this later um i'm pretty sure i've seen people actually break this down without destroying it so there could be a constructor, or maybe the, the um, constructor can do that. Um, but at this point, I haven't gotten that far. So I didn't see any really hotkeys or anything. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of build this up. I'm going to build it all with brick. I need to use some wood. As you can see, I'm kind of filled up. Now I do know the constructor can't upgrade, and you can kind of upgrade some of these walls and stuff. Right now, if I hold F... Hands. I can't actually improve it so it's fine they look okay I want to put oh this over here as well just kind of going up there like that and I do want do some wooden floors now some of these will break the blocks Is that I'm gonna go right there is this opening now you can do some things I don't know Sorry. yeah I can't edit it yeah that stinks um, I could do this though and bring that up <clears throat> bring this across and I don't know if <laughs> if they'll use this or just try to break it um, if they will try to use it hooray for them uh, let's build it anyway now if you don't want this gap here like I'm not sure I want it there. I can go into edit mode by hitting G and then I can take out some of these and hit G to confirm and see it does a half angled wall. That's what I was trying to do with those other openings. So this way you can run up here and have the platform. Uh, we can do the same thing instead of this. We can hit G again. We can take out those. And let's do this out of G to confirm. We'll still do it out of brick. How about that? Okay, and then we got kind of brick half walls going across there being built up. We can do the same. Just to kind of tie it off. Now, there'll be traps, different things along along there. I do want to do kind of like a tower. So build back in G mode. Actually, yeah, we can do that. So it has a window. Okay. And let's say I wanted to have it where we can still actually get in this. So we can make it an outline of a door and confirm. And it does a door. This one, we want a full wall. Actually, no, we want stairs. Okay, and. So you can see the building is actually not. Oh. Not horrible. Um. It's, it's pretty easy to click through these options and build. Oh. 
we need to add some floors. So I could use the brick floors. Um, I'm not too worried about, I got plenty of the wood. Um, sloped roofs would kind of look interesting on this. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. Let's do confirm G and let's keep these at wood. Uh, it may be a little bit easier to, to, if there wasn't a barrier here, but it's just, just for our protection. Uh, so real quick, we have a very basic, uh, front to this one side and we can put traps and different things now I haven't really had anything come all the way to this side uh, like I said I think eventually down the road we be able to edit this a little bit further and so now if we wanted to put some of these walls I like the brick um, we can do a couple of wall barriers like a so and then they may try to you know walk around it or something like that we can can we place those uh spooky noise <laughs> uh not sure what that was um but we can place a couple more in here yeah so these, let's start placing some traps. So if I go and hit F5, or actually I need to hit T, because I don't have any. So we want some wall traps. Uh, cancel. Wish I could. Uh, I know you can. So. I don't have to build any first, do I? I don't have any. Uh, hit I to get my inventory. These are different things we can build. Uh, we do have the pieces and parts for this. Uh, these are retractable floor spikes. Pretty cool. You get to see the trap damage. Um, you can upgrade them, lay them out. Uh, I do want to make one of these healing pads, though, um, back at the base. There's also these wooden floor spikes. These are just slower the enemies as they run over them. Uh, and I want to make some of these these wall spikes um, which will be pretty good and this is what we'll put over all over a wall so that should craft about five of those and so now if we go back into build mode and now if we hit yep yeah, f5 we got them and we'll place them right along this wall so basically things will get stuck, as you notice. I can, of course, walk over the traps. They can't. So they could possibly get stuck there. Um, and then I can just fire at them, fire them over the wall. And that's why I have multiple things here um, to kind of guide them. Hopefully kind of guide them through, the, through here. Now, I probably should put one more. And we can go in, let's make another trap like that. And I want to make a couple of these darts. So let's can I make two of those. Yeah, I can. And we have a couple of, let's, let's see, can we make, ooh, so maybe running out of some pieces for that. out of duct tape for those what is this ceiling gas trap Ooh. so part of this I'm gonna to have to play to build up some more of my materials but as you can see we got trap for here and this kind of shows what is damaged so hopefully things will run around there get hit by this thing 
Let's also put one here if they go to go up the steps. Now we can... That kind of sticks out in the middle there. Not sure what I like about that. But if it does actually help kind of filter them around, uh, we could put... Come on, pop up where I can use it. Oh, I can't put it there. I can put it there. And that's it. Um, so yeah, so this side is quite a bit, a little bit more protected, a little bit more cleaner for me to um, run up here. And I'll get some of the floor traps I have up this way. This way I can stand up here with my gun, fire down at the ledges if I need to, you know. We're gonna get up here, fire down. Now these trees, I'll probably take damage. Yep, I took damage. You will want to kind of get out of the way. And now that I have some room for wood, I'll collect all of that. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much all there is to, to building. So the constructor, um, there is a constructor class, and if I was building, I probably should have used him. But he can place down a base. Ooh, I forgot I put that jump pad there. Uh, I thought that was a healing pad, and I was mistaken. Speaking of which, defender post, healer. Oh, we shouldn't have used all of our whatever that is. Um, Let's see. Whee! I don't know if I want that right, quite right up there. Uh, and I'm probably I don't want to. This stuff I'm definitely not going to move. A lot of this I'm going to redo. So might as well put the healer pad. How about right here? Because this isn't a trap. This go over it. Get some healing uh, if I need it because that way that will help with this. I'm going to do the same thing around these cliffs. All of them come to run up this ramp. The only issue or only area that I had trouble with was they were coming through here and up around on the other side. So that side is going to be interesting to defend. I will have to kind of seal up this opening here. Maybe build something up this way. And you notice I just got bullets, which is very nice from this stuff. But that is pretty much all there is to building. Uh, like I said, I'll try to, if I get my constructor up to where he can do the base, I'll try to do some building with him. No. And yeah, I know I'm out of out of energy. Uh, try to do some building with him. He does do a little bit different things as far as he can place down a base machine, which gives you an outline and everything you build within that outline actually uh, costs less. So really if you're in a multiplayer party and you do see a constructor, you should let him probably do a lot of the building. <laughs> uh, but that's going to do it. Let me know what you think about the game. Uh, if you do have the game and you have different base designs or different things set up, definitely for your Storm Shield, uh, let me know. And lastly, let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying the game. So that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> uh, but this has been Kenema, and I'll talk to you later.